All right, today we're going to talk about how to turn an EPS file into a file that you can open in Silhouette Studio so that you can then go and cut it. EPS files are no longer able to be drugged directly into Silhouette Studio, so you need to convert them. So I have this um, pack here. It's from a font pack that I, that I purchased from um, the Hungry JPEG, and it comes with some extras some designs and but it comes as an EPS so I've downloaded it onto my computer it's in my downloads file wherever that is for you mine is here on, on my Mac so look find it on your um, find it on your computer and I also have pulled a shortcut here onto my desktop as you can see all right now I like to use this Zamzar um, website. It's a free website that you can use to convert files from pretty much any file type to any other type file. So all you have to do is choose the file. So I find it right here. Oops. You want the EPS version. Click return. You won't have the PNG version. That was, I actually have already converted it. I'm just going through the process again to show you. So you can see that it's now down here in the files to convert. You then pick the type of file that you want to convert it to. Silhouette Studio will be open, able to open up um, P, uh, JPEGs, SVG, if you have Designer Edition, PDF, PNG. I like PNG, so that's what I do. Then I type in your email and then click convert. Okay. When you do that, you will then get, I'll type in my email here, You will then get a link, it'll convert, you'll see the process here, progress, and then you will get an email, okay? Once you get an email, you'll get a download link that will download it onto your computer, the, the PNG version. As I said, I've already done this, so my PNG version is right here, okay? So what I like to do is keep it on my desktop and keep Silhouette Studio open. And then I can simply drag the PNG into Silhouette Studio. Now at this point, it is not a cut file because if I go up to my cut settings, you'll see there are no cut lines. Even if I type cut, even if I click cut, it's cutting the edge. I need to be able to cut some of these individual pieces. So what you need to do is trace. Now you can trace the entire design or you can pick one thing to trace. Let's say you pick one thing. Turn off high pass filter, adjust the threshold if you need to, click trace. Okay, now this is a cuttable file. If you would like to cut, if you would like to trace the entire set at once, you can do the same thing. You will need to adjust the threshold slightly um, to pick up some of them. Now you'll see when I do that, it adjust the threshold on the cat a little bit too much but not enough over here so you you may have to do one or two individually but for the most part you should get you should get them okay now I have this entire set I can pretty much get rid of that I don't need that but these are all one you cannot ungroup because they're not grouped they're actually a compound path so you want to right click and release the compound path now watch what happens when I do that it takes a second because there's a lot of pieces. You're going to have to then go in some of these like this is this one is just one piece, but some of them like this cat is a whole bunch of different pieces. So you're going to have to go in and make just the cat a compound path and then it'll be one piece. And you go through and do that. Now what I like to do after I have done this is save it to my library in my file that I call commercial free because when you buy these from uh, the Hungry JPEG specifically and some of the other places like um, you can use them commercially and you can see I've done that with um, a couple of these different sets here so that is how you turn EPS files into cuttable files with the Silhouette Studio you do need to open turn it into a PNG or some type of file that you will be able to cut because if you try to pull this EPS file in here, you're going to get an error message saying this type of file is not recognized and cannot be opened by Silhouette Studio. Okay, thanks a lot. Make sure you check out SilhouetteSchoolBlog.com.
There's over 500 tutorials on how to use your Silhouette machine, Silhouette Studio, tricks, tips. I even have a few things on there on the Curio now, and um, I'm always willing to take questions on the Facebook page or email. So thanks again, and enjoy!